Hello and welcome to this Blender tutorial. This is the first one I've ever done and it may be the last, who knows. So in this short video I will show you how you can create this very quick procedural gore-like texture. This tutorial won't go too in-depth so it is ideal for beginners. To begin with you will need your mesh. You can either use the default cube or if you have deleted it press shift A and select cube. From there, you click on the Material Properties button and click New. This will add a new material to the cube. Press Z and Material Preview and you'll be able to see it. After that, split your screen by clicking on the top corner of the viewport and dragging across like so. Then from the Editor Type drop down, select Shader Editor. You can press N to hide the side panel, as we won't need that. So here we have the material output, which is the final composition of the material or texture which we will be creating. Plugged into that is the principled BSDF shader. For this texture, we will use the principled BSDF, as well as a noise texture. In the empty space, press Shift A and search noise texture. Once that's in place, search again for color ramp. and connect it like so, factor to factor, color to color. And you can see the cube already has the noise texture applied to it. After this, we need a bump node. So shift A and search bump. Connect the noise texture factor to the bump height and then the bump normal to the principal BSDF normal. When the texture refreshes, the bump node will give it a 3D appearance. Next, we need to add a mapping node to the noise texture. The easiest way to do this is with the Node Wrangler add-on. Click Edit at the top, Preferences, Add-ons, and search for Node Wrangler. Click the checkbox and close Preferences. Click on the Noise Texture node and then press Ctrl T. With this mapping node, you can control the location, rotation, and scale of the material. Color the material, click on the sliders on the color ramp to select it, and then the color at the bottom. These are the colors that I have found work best for me. I will put a link to an image of the colors and node setup in the description. Move the sliders until you are happy with the colour coverage. Now it is just a case of playing with the values of the noise, bump and mapping nodes until you get something you are happy with. You can also play with the principal BSDF as well. I bring the roughness down to add a sort of glisten and wetness to the material. If you want to have a bit more fun, you can animate the texture. Split the screen like before and add a timeline. Move the scrubber to where you want on the timeline. Then with the mouse over the Z axis rotation, press I. This will add a keyframe. Move to another part of the timeline. Then change the value of the Z rotation. Press I again to add another keyframe. Now when you press play, the material will have a sort of rippling effect. One of the main benefits of using a procedural instead of an image texture is as the procedural is mathematically generated, there is no limit to the resolution and scale, whether it is tiny or gigantic. You can scale it up as large as you want, as long as you change the values in the material. However, in cycles for procedurals, each pixel is evaluated in the render, so this can make the render quite slow, or significantly slower. So experiment with what works best for you. 
As I said, this is very quick and simple, ideally used for background objects or things that won't be the main focus of your render. Thank you for watching and hopefully I will make another tutorial soon.